Hello, welcome to the video Install Visual Studio Code with Java Extension on Windows. I am Nam Haming at CodeJava.net. In this video, I'd love to help you get started with Java programming Java development on Windows operating system using Visual Studio Code IDE in detail. I'm going to show you how to download and install Visual Studio Code IDE on Windows and then install the java extension and configure jdk home java development kit so you can create or build and run java projects using visual studio code and you will also see how to create and run your first java project a kind of hello world program using visual studio code ide know that you must have a jdk installed on your computer beforehand if not, uh, kindly follow this video, download and install Oracle JDK 23 on Windows, also on my YouTube channel, and this URL to install Java Development Kit on your Windows computer. So, what is Visual Studio Code? You know, Visual Studio Code or VS Code is a popular IDE developed by Microsoft Corporation. It's free for private or commercial use. And the supported programming languages including C, C Sharp, C++, Fortran, Go, Java, JavaScript, Python, and more. And the official homepage of Visual Studio Code is code.visualstudio.com. Okay, so the first step is downloading the installer for Visual Studio Code. So in the web browser, head over to its official homepage at code.visualstudio.com. This is the official homepage of Visual Studio Code. Okay, you can see the introduction. Yeah, the code editor redefined with AI, and click the button download for Windows. Okay, it is downloading the installer automatically. The file size is about just 100 megabytes, just a moment. Okay, the download of Visual Studio Code installer is complete. You can click to launch the installer right here. Okay, this is a setup program for Microsoft Visual Studio Code. Click check this to accept the agreement, the terms of license, and click next. Okay, by default, it uh, will uh, install the uh, IDE at this directory, this path. If you want to change, you can click the browse button here. And it requires at least about 400 megabytes of free disk space on your computer. Okay, click next to proceed. It uh, will put a uh, startup, put a menu shortcut on startup menu. Okay, click next, and I want to it. I want it to put a desktop icon, a shortcut on icon. So I check this option. Create a desktop icon. You can check these options to add open with code context menu to Windows Explorer. Okay, click next. Okay, summary information and click install button. Very simple. Okay, it is installing Microsoft Visual Studio Code. Okay, done. And check this option and click finish. So I have completed the installation of Visual Studio Code on my Windows computer. And then you can see the shortcut icon on desktop here. And it also put a shortcut on start menu. You can see here Visual Studio Code here on start menu and on desktop here okay and to launch uh, visual studio code id double click 
is shortcut icon on desktop here we go this is the first time i used a visual studio code okay you see by default the team is uh, dark dark team with black background and white uh, foreground sometimes you can see uh, some suggestions recommendation here okay okay yeah i choose my team i choose my dark modern team here yeah, by default and click next section so the first time we need to configure something for uh, something for the ide okay code with extension okay next time uh, we need to install java extension because we are using uh, visual studio code to develop java projects okay so click the button browse popular extensions yeah okay it is searching on marketplace on the marketplace okay for java you can type java into the search box here to search for java extension okay you can see there are many uh, extensions for the third result and the official one is uh, from oracle corporation uh, let me see java from oracle corporation search for oracle java yeah okay so you can see the extension java extension from Oracle Corporation is the official one. We need to install in order to have Java support in Visual Studio Code. Okay. Click and you can see the details of the extension Java from Oracle Corporation. And you can see uh, the instruction here setting up the JDK here. Okay. Now just click the install button here to start installing this extension to enable java development okay and when see this warning click just publisher and install okay it is installing java extension for visual studio code okay done it has successfully installed the java extension for visual studio code as you can see the button disable and, and uninstall here yeah, that means the extension is now active okay and the next step is to configure uh, the path of the, the jdk as you can see the instruction in this uh, extension document here yeah. set jdk in the view command palette preferences user settings you can click the settings button next to the extension here to manage the settings click settings okay and uh, look for the setting about jdk home here uh, jdk project jdk colon jdk home this is the settings you need to configure okay click edit in settings.json okay and path the uh, directory that is the java development kit home here yeah. okay so open uh, windows uh, explorer and go to uh, the installation directory of jdk on my computer it is under the drive c program files java jdk 23 okay and copy the path here yeah. copy and paste here yeah. okay and change the uh, backward slash to forward slash here yeah. to avoid the error okay so this is a setting for jdk home for the java extension in visual studio code okay close and save the change okay that's done 
uh, configuring JDK Home for Java extension. Now, let me uh, show you how to create your first Java project in Visual Studio Code. Okay, so in the ID, click View, Command Palette, or press the shortcut key, uh, Control Shift P, and you can see the option Java New Project here, or you can type Java here, and you can see the suggestion to create a new Java project. Click, and you can choose to create Java project with Maven or Gradle. I choose Java with Maven, Java application. Okay, and specify the project directory. Yeah, I create a new project under my user home directory. Hello world Java and press enter and enter a package name, for example, net code Java. Okay, it is creating a new uh, project. You can see the message new project created here. You can open it in a new window or add to the current workspace. I choose add to current workspace. Okay. And when she is coding, click yes to trust the authors. Okay. And to see the project, you need to show open the explorer view. And you can see the new project hello one java got created here. And you can also see the project view here. Okay. Okay, I prefer uh, using the project view. You can see the source packages, net.code Java dependencies, Java dependencies, project files, and so on. And uh, by default, it uh, created a new Java class here. Yeah. Hello world, Java not Java, and you can see the code here, the code here, and you can see it is a Java class with the main method that is the entry point of the application, and it uh, prints a hello world into the to the standard console using the system not not print line statement. Okay, and to run this program you can click the link run main here okay the project is based on maven so it is running maven view you success and you can see it prints hello world in the standard output here i can change the text here hello world java in vs code okay and run again Save the change and run again. Click run main here. Uh, on the project, you can click the play the run button here to run it again. Okay, this time it prints hello world Java in VS Code. Exactly what I changed in the code here. So very simple, right? That's how to create the first and your, your first Java project and run it in the Visual Studio code. Okay, so far you have learned how to install Visual Studio code IDE with Java extension on Windows operating system. So you can get started with Java programming, create, build and run your Java applications using VS Code. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.